What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So it was requested by one of my subscribers that I make a follow up video on HITIF or High Tide which is a Canadian cannabis penny stock. So it's worth noting that I've already made numerous in depth videos on High Tide over the last few weeks which I'll link in the description below. So in today's video I want to focus more on their current share price my current position in this company in terms of how it's performing and most importantly I want to look at some news articles and catalysts that are going to affect their share price going forward. High Tide at the moment is my smallest position by far. We only have about 31 euro invested at the moment and are currently up 7% and we have 58 and a half shares. We can see on screen here as well the dotted line is my average price we got in at about 59 or 60 cent per share and at the time of recording it's currently sitting at 68 cent per share. So on my prior videos on high tide on screen we can see kind of six key points from those videos overall that we look through very briefly today first. So the first of those points was their product diversification and offerings so we can even see here on screen they have the bricks and mortar on the left and their online presence on the right. On the left they have the likes of Canna Cabana, New Leaf, Meta Growth and also Kush Bear and online presence they have Grass City and CBD City. So as a penny stock this is extremely promising to see that they are diversified across numerous different forms of the cannabis sector. The second point that I briefly wanted to discuss again I went into a lot more in depth detail in my prior videos on this stock that are in the description below but the second point was celebrity endorsements. So we can see on screen they have the likes of Snoop Dogg and Cheek and Chong as two of their celebrity brand ambassadors so to speak so as you can imagine having Snoop Dogg in any cannabis related sector or company is of huge benefit and news as he certainly is the kind of go to guy in terms of celebrity endorsements within this sector. The next point was that they have a great CEO in the form of Raj. Now the reason I really like this guy is because he's extremely transparent especially on his Twitter page and he's very open to even this talk to the normal average investor which as a penny stock Again, a lot of penny stocks, kind of a lot of people are kind of in two minds about them in terms of disclosure of information. But Raj definitely seems to be top guy in terms of being fully transparent. High Tide are also ever expanding, which we'll discuss later on in more detail since they're after opening up more stores since my last update. They also are the leading Canadian cannabis penny stock after merging and taking over Meta Growth. So that's of huge importance as well, in my opinion. And also at current prices, now at the start of this video, they're trading at about 68 cent per share. So in my opinion, at these prices, with all of the upward potential, they're currently trading at brilliant prices. In terms of expansion that we'd mentioned just before this point, High Tide have now opened their 77 store, which is very promising to see, especially for a penny stock. And we can see that it's in Alberta. So having 77 stores as a penny stock is of extreme importance in my opinion company has also appointed a new chief operating officer in the form of Amin Sood. Excuse the second name, it mightn't be the right way to pronounce it, but Adam Sood is our new chief operating officer. And also another point on this article that I found interesting, the bottom point here is that the company's board of directors have approved a grant of 5 million stock options to purchase for high tide. So again, this is very interesting to see, especially for a small company to have 5 million stock offering coming up. Another point worth mentioning is their extremely brilliant quarter four earnings in my opinion. All of their revenue etc went up quite substantially. Now again that's all in my prior videos so I'm not going to go into detail today on it. But we can even see here that their price, share price has jumped up over 300% since the original IPO offering. So that's again huge news for this company. As far as penny stocks go I do believe high tide is kind of a lot less risky than most penny stocks. However... Because it is a penny stock, there is still always risk involved and you need to do your own due diligence before investing any of your hard-earned capital. But the bottom point here is very interesting as well, that even though we have all these upsides, there is also a potential of risk, such as their high competition. Now, as you know, in this penny stock world, especially in Canadian cannabis stocks, there is a lot of competition. So that will play a huge factor in how this company goes going forward. But in my opinion, it has brilliant frameworks in terms of original Kind of foundations so i do have a lot of promise for this company going forward we can also see of low liquidity and the slower than expected cannabis or accept acceptance of cannabis so again i mentioned in prior videos that the u.s legislations will play a huge part or factor in the success or downfall of this company 
from High Tide's quarter four earnings. It was quite apparent to see that their own local markets are doing quite well. But in my opinion, for them to grow even bigger, they need to expand their international markets. So by getting into the US markets will obviously be a huge benefit to High Tide. And once the US start to relax legislation laws for cannabis use or recreational use, I really do feel companies such as High Tide will get a huge potential from this. And that's probably one of the main reasons why I only have about 58 or 59 stocks within this company at the moment, because there is a lot of volatility both on the up and down trends. So my whole purpose of investing in this stock isn't the kind of pump and dump. I do want to stay within this stock long term. So for that reason, I'm kind of waiting. I'm up about 9% at the moment, as we saw at the start of this video. And I am kind of waiting for it to jump down a small bit. And with penny stocks, they can jump 10 to 20% on any given day, either direction. So I do have cash reserves sitting on the sideline to take advantage a lot more the next time this goes into the red. Another big catalyst for high tide going forward is them getting on the NASDAQ. Now, as you can imagine, this will really increase their exposure. So in turn, we'll get them a lot more investors, in my opinion. And there has been big, some big news in the last few hours in terms of High Tide announcing filings of a Form 40F with SEC fulfilling a significant milestone for their NASDAQ listing. So this is of huge importance for the company going forward. You can see a quote from their CEO Raj on this big news is that they are the first Canadian cannabis retailer to pursue this prestigious listing on the NASDAQ and they believe it will allow them to greatly expand their shareholder base, enhance shareholder value, and accelerate their already aggressive M&A initiatives in Canada, Europe, and within the US. Now, as you can imagine, this news of them listing on the NASDAQ would be of huge importance to their share price. And even starting this video earlier, we were about 9%, and I just looked there and we're up just under 14%. Now, I have about 10 euro and 50 cent free capital within this account at the moment, so because of this this listing on the NASDAQ, or the potential listing, should I emphasize the word potential, that I am going to put that further 10 euro and 50 cent into the company, which will probably get me another 15 or so shares. So this 10 euro and 50 cent, albeit a tiny amount of money in comparison to the overall just under 8,000 account value, this will get me another 17.6 shares, which again, long term, this might be of great importance to my overall bank balance. So we now have that order in for another 17 shares and the market's open in about three or so minutes. So in my opinion, like again, I know I have a very small amount of cash or capital invested in this company in comparison to most people. But again, I do feel that there is a lot of upward potential and it is worth the risk to have a small portion of your overall capital at play within the stock. Again, it's worth stressing I am not a financial advisor by any stretch of imagination. And you need to do your own due diligence before investing any of your hard earned money. We can even see there now that the market actually just went through. So that order of 17 shares went through and executed. And we now have 76 shares within High Tide. So that's just a brief update on how High Tide, ticker symbol HITIF, is going at the moment. And some big news again in terms of that listing on the NASDAQ or potential listing. So it's going to be very interesting to see over the next few weeks and even months if this will go ahead. And also another big catalyst for this will be the US legislation laws in terms of recreational cannabis use. Both of those factors will have huge say on how this company goes going forward. But I do have good potential for this company and hopefully I'm proved correct. So with all that being said, if this video was any way helpful or entertaining, it'd be much appreciated as always if you're new around here. If you consider subscribing to the channel, as would really help me out going forward. And most importantly, if you have any questions, comments, queries or suggestions, please don't hesitate to comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you as quick as I can. It would also be very interesting to know how many shares, if any, you hold within HITIF and your reasoning behind this. Thanks very much guys, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video.